start the recording and we can practice. So let's practice with the Tai Chi ball. <clears throat> So, we'll start with a very gentle warm-up and then we'll continue it with maybe some more. Okay, I think that's better right now if I do it like this. Okay, perfect. So, let's start with a gentle warm-up of the hands first. So, I'll pass the ball from one hand to another and I want to squeeze the ball when I absorb it so I let it go and then when it reaches down I absorb I don't want to get stuck here I want to go down so I'm warming up the fingers and I also warm up the wrists as well and I'm gonna do this for maybe one minute, two minutes, until I manage to relax. So the whole point of this is to warm up through relaxing. So relax your shoulders, continue doing the exercise. This is a, as you like to call it, a neuroplasticity exercise, remember? You taught me this. And going from one to another, and it is Relaxing the spine, relaxing the neck, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms and the fingers. And now, so far, I use the fingers. Now I want to grab with the fingers and then allow the fingers to relax and let the ball hold on the, on the palm, on the center of my palm. So grab with the fingers and as I go down, I leave the ball on the palm. Fingers, palm. Fingers, palm. Fingers, palm, fingers, palm, 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 fingers, palm, yes, very good. So and now I'm going to throw a little bit higher, but notice I'm going with the hand to the ball. So it's not like I'm not trying to uh, wait for the ball because then all the weight will go bang on the, on the wrist. So I grab it up and I go down with the ball. Very good. Okay, now we we'll do another exercise to pass the ball around. So I pass the ball in front, back, front, back. One, two, fingers first, fingers, then palms. Relax your shoulders, relax your spine, relax your neck. And we change direction, left to the right in front. Pass the ball. Very good. Okay, excellent. So now your wrists and your fingers are supposed to be already warm. So we'll continue with a standing exercise, with a posture. So I'm gonna use still the fingers and go in front of my lower dantian. Relax your shoulders, relax your hands. Notice that your hands your arms are not like this, they are not bending from your elbow. They are straight in an angle, yeah, in an arc from here all the way. Same like when we do the Zan Zhuang. Here, relax. And up, heart level. Notice, elbows and shoulders are on the same. And up to your heart dantian. Sorry, to your upper dantian. And back to your heart dantian. And back to your dantian. And relax your hands and always notice. Notice your, your shoulders, your back. Notice when you're holding the ball notice where you have to strengthen your body more. So last session, we worked on a specific uh, part of our body. I worked on my hip and today we do the same thing. We work on the same part that we 
we, we thought about last, last session, yeah? So I'm gonna work on the hip. You remember which part of your body you worked on last time, and today's session, you work on that. Energy flows where attention goes. So pay attention to that part of your body. So we continue. I go to my left and I go up and keep your attention always on the always on the same part that you're working on. So in my case, I work on my hip, on my left hip. Go up, down, and up, down, and up, and down. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we will phase it. So, turn to your left, lower down here. One, two, three, four, five. Hard down here. One, two, three, four, five. Upper down here. One, two, three, four, five. On top of your head. One, two, three, four, five. Turn, one, two, three, four, five. Turn to your right, one, two, three, four, five. Upper down the end, one, two, three, four, five. Hard down the end, one, two, three, four, five. Lower down the end, one, two, three, four, five. And come back here. So we will alternate now, we will do the four stages of, of practice. One is moving continuously, second one is stances only, third one is equally moves, equally stances in terms of time, and the last one is accelerated, uh, sorry, uh, slowing down the movement and the postures with time. So I'm going to increase the time as I reach back to the where I left. So I'm going to do right now um, moving and staying under the posture five seconds. So I turn and I move in five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go to your heart level. One, two, three, four, five. Go to your upper dantian. One, two, three, four, five. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. And up. One, two, three, four, five. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. And turn. One, two, three, four, five. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. Turn to your right, one, two, three, four, five, and hold, one, two, three, four, five. Go down, one, two, three, four, five, and hold, one, two, three, four, five. Go down, one, two, three, four, five, and hold, one, two, three, four, five. And go down, one, two, three, four, five. Five and hold one, two, three, four, five, and go down one, two, three, four, five. Very well. So, this is the third level. The fourth level is going up and increasing the time for every, every posture or movement. So, we start with five and we increase one second for each one. So, I start from here and I start one. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Move 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hold 16. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Go down with 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Hold 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Move 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hold 20. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Move 21. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hold 22. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And move down. 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 23. Very good. Okay. So we go from very easy to more and more difficult. There is no limit because all we do, we either increase the time or we increase the weight. So if you wanna, if you feel like the ball is very easy for you, you increase the weight of the ball, you get a stronger, a, a heavier ball. Or you can increase the time, so you can work with the time. I recommend to stay, to stay with this ball for at least a few years, two, three years, and then go to the next one. Okay, so we leave the ball right now. And remember, we want to work on um, mastering attention. So I have my hip that I'm working on, you have your the part of your body that you're working on and i am going to do an exercise sitting this time and what i want you to do i want you to sit down or if you prepare to stand it's up to you the reason i want to sit down is not because i'm tired but because i want to focus on that part of my my body on the hip uh, without concentrating on my on my posture so now this is a mental exercise more than a physical exercise in fact is an energy exercise more than physical so i want you to close your eyes and allow the silence to penetrate your body i want your body to be silenced so um, we want to bring the silence from outside, from our ears, inside our body. So despite the fact that we think in the body is already silence, actually the body doesn't have much silence because the body is like a factory. Every single organ works and vibrates on a certain vibration on a certain uh, um, frequency vibration so what i want to do right now i want to make sure that i low down that vibration that sound of the organs and i start first with my lungs by breathing very long and i'm already yawning because i already relaxed so when you're yawning it means you silence your body so silence your body Silence your organs. We start with the lungs.
and continue with your heart. And your liver. Your spleen. Your kidneys. slowly open your eyes. So, as you notice, I work on silencing the main organs. Remember, we have couples of organs. Heart is with the pericardium. Liver is with the gallbladder. Kidneys with the urinary bladder. Spleen with the stomach and pancreas. So when I silence the organs, I am not silencing the baggy organs, the ones that are empty. I am silencing the ones that are full. Those are the ones that are making some noise. The other ones, they don't make any noise. They're empty. They're supposed to be empty. Um, they're not empty, of course, physically. They are also filled with uh, liquid, but they're supposed to be empty in, in, their, uh, in their, let's say, best shape, yeah? whenever, whenever we want to use them. So, um, I want you to close your eyes right now, and I want you to place your attention on the same part that you started two days ago to focus on. I hope you did this exercise yesterday too. So in my case, I will focus on my hip. And with your eyes closed, switch your attention to the sounds that you can hear. Don't open your eyes, switch your attention to the area where you're focused on. And open your eyes. So, the first part of the routine, uh, this Qigong routine, is to focus on the part without bringing more energy into your body. Of course, we are supposed to be relaxed, so the active relaxation, what we did with the ball, is supposed to make us feel relaxed and the body is smooth. But now, I just bring whatever energy I have in the body into the area where I want to, where I want to heal and I want to send. It's a two-way uh, exercise, a two-way routine. I put my intention, my attention on my hip in my case, but I also listen to my hip. Now, the only way to listen to my hip is to silence the other noises. The noises from outside and the noises from inside. So, hence, we did the focus from outside to inside, and before that, we silenced the main organs, the heart, the liver, the lungs, the spleen, and the kidneys. Now, the next part of this exercise, I want to bring Qi into my body. So, I'm going to do a breathing exercise with movement to bring Qi into the body. And then, we'll do the same routine 
but it's for you to decide after we do this routine to see the difference on how you feel before and after. So now I want you to stand up. We can put the chair away. And I'm going to take my uh, jacket off because I think it became a little bit hotter now. And I want you to first just relax, relax, place yourself into a short mabu posture and bring your awareness to your nose first. This is where the air comes inside. And bring your hands up and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Bring your hands to your dantian, close your eyes, observe your body, observe the vibration of your body and sometimes um, because of the excess of oxygen that comes to our lungs and as an oxygen excess in the blood and then to the brain, we may experience dizziness when we bring a lot of chi into the body. When you experience dizziness, there are two things that you should avoid. Close your eyes and make your body closed because if you, your body is closed, then your chi will not flow to your body, so then your dizziness will be even more. There is another exercise which I do when I experience dizziness. I put my hands in front and I do this exercise making a fist in front of my eyes and for maybe one minute, two minutes focused on the fingers that allows your focus to come back and you lose the dizziness. Great, so now I brought some chi, more chi into the body and I want to use this chi, I want to transmute it and send it to the area where I feel the, um, the pain or injury or whatever I want to heal. So, first establish which part of your body is affected. So, in my case, it's on the left side. If in your case it's on the right, you will work on the right. So, I'm working on the left. So, I'm going to put my right hand on my dantian and I'm going to lift my hand up. And I'm going to put my weight on the left and I'm going to stretch my left hand up, close my eyes, close your eyes and look to your left, look up and close your eyes. And relax your neck, hold the hand up. and relax your hand very good so now supposedly we silenced our body we silenced the noises from outside now i want to forget about this sense and use another sense the sense of smell so i'm gonna close my eyes and i'm gonna try to smell the air around me
and smell your palms, smell your elbows, smell your skin, and now with your eyes closed, I want you to switch your attention to the place where you want to heal and I want you to use your imagination to smell that area smell the area so for in my example the hip I will smell into my hip into my body so wherever your injury is or the part that you want to heal mentally you can go deep inside that area and try to use your sense of smell so you can smell inside smell the bones smell the blood smell the joints smell the flesh the flesh smell the skin around that area and open your eyes and we'll do now now let's review what we're doing the first exercise we did through the ears ears are connected to the kidneys the second exercise i'm doing it through the sense of smell which is the energy of the lungs so every time i use one of the senses i also use one of the elements i also use one of the organ systems so have that in mind because when you do your own routine you can you can use this algorithm to combine it with qigong exercises this movement here this distance is allowing me to stretch my meridians from my left foot all the way to my left palm so it's not really i don't do any uh any uh focused work on an organ this if you remember is also working on the intestines but in this case i wasn't working on the intestines i was just trying to stretch all my left side so i'm making sure that the energy flows very well okay in between we're going to bring more chi into the body so right and left down and i'm going to inhale and push my chest forward and exhale and again push my chest forward inhale exhale inhale keep your back straight exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale Very good. Now I will use the earth element. Yeah. So we used the lungs. Now we used, sorry, we used the kidneys through the ears. We use the lungs now through the breathing, um, uh, sorry, through the smell exercise. We brought chi into the body. Now I want to use the spleen exercise, um, the spleen energy, the earth element energy. This exercise is fantastic to be done outdoors. So you, when you practice on your own, if you practice an earth element, Qigong, it is always better to contactly put your feet on the ground or in the sea, it works both, both okay. Um, and now we're just gonna do the exercise thinking to, that we are connected to the ground. I live on the ground floor, so that's fine. Uh, wherever, of course, there's a parking underneath so it's not direct contact to the earth. So it's always better to be in contact with the ground barefoot if possible. Now going back to the spleen, um, the spleen is represented by the tongue and by the lips and by the sense of touching. So I'm gonna use this to fill the, 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 the environment, but I'm gonna use my hands now and my feet. So while I'm grounding, I am going to use my hands 
to do a Tai Chi exercise to feel the hands. So we're going to do a brush knee exercise. I'm going to go to the left and push the air with my left hand and feel the air. The sense of touch activates the earth element, the spleen, and we are also grounded. So push. You use your hands to feel the air. You can, if you feel comfortable with this exercise, you can already close your eyes. If you feel like you need to look on the screen for a little bit more, you can do it like that. So up, push, and close your eyes and feel the air with your palms. There is a misconception thinking that there is emptiness around us. It's actually, there is no emptiness around us. So even though the air is very thin, and we can walk through, we can go through. There is much more than emptiness. So I want you to feel the chi of your room or wherever you are with your palms. and bring your hands on your dantian and allow the energy to flow through your body from your left foot all the way to your forehead up sorry to on, on top of your head and then allow to the other side to go into the right foot down do not hold on to the energy allow just to flow and in between so in my case i have my hip here wherever your injury is in your body use this circuit left side right side left side inhale right side exhale so in my case if the hip is here i'm going to inhale from my left side into my hip and then i'm going to exhale back up and then down so the area where you have your injury will split this circuit in two inhaling and exhaling but you always start from the left foot stop wherever the injury is let's say my injury is on my right shoulder i start with the left inhale 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 into my right shoulder and then i exhale down into my my right foot so please go on inhale when you inhale place your weight on the left when you exhale place your right on the right your weight on the right that's because i want to maximize the contact between my body and the soil, the earth, the, the, the floor. So inhale, press on the left, exhale, press on the right. Inhale, press on the left, exhale, press on the right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And inhale and exhale very good okay we reached the last one if you notice in most of the healing sessions with Qigong we leave the master of all organs at the end so we did the water we did the liver we did we did um, yes we didn't do the liver we have to do the liver first we do the liver the liver is the eyes but if we think about it, the eyes, we always activate the eyes when we close the eyes and, and open the eyes. But let's work for the liver as well. So left in front, I'm going to bring the energy into my liver. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and relax your hands. So I brought chi into my body, and we can do an exercise that we haven't done before by 
imagining different colors. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to see the color green. Imagine you see something that naturally has the color green, so maybe a forest, and allow yourself to immerse your eyes, your imagination into a color of the forest, into a forest, and you can look up and see the blue of the sky. So switch your eyes to blue. and look down and see the sand on the floor or the soil, so the color of the earth, brown, gold. And then with your eyes closed, look into the sun on a red sunset, so you can see the red color. and open your eyes so that activates the sense the visual sense and as a consequence activates the liver energy and the gallbladder energy so now we reach the last one which is the heart the masters of the master of all organs is the heart and we said that many times in qigong we work towards balance we, we don't want to be sad we don't want to be um, in grief we don't want to be angry we want to have joy, but not too much joy. Joy is uh, something that uh, is like we have a team of organs that create negative potential emotions and we have an organ that creates a countering, a counterbalancing emotion, which is the emotion of joy. So if you look at the scale of emotions, joy is about a third second third and then you have love and then you have enlightenment which for me means balance so when you're balanced you can use the joy either you don't have any of those emotions so you wake up in the morning and you're not sad you're not unhappy you're not you're not in grief you don't think you're not angry about anything you're not frustrated and then you can go through the day even if you don't have so much joy and you can be balanced and when you're balanced your hormones are also balanced. Your hormonal glands, your endocrine glands are also balanced. The moment you start having any type of emotions or any type of storm in your body, a chi storm, I call it, then your glands, your endocrine glands start giving you the bad hormones, which are not really good for our body. So we, again, we work on, the, on healing an aspect of our body right now that we want to bring the, the energy, the chi of joy in, in the body. So now I am going to think of a memory or of an experience or of a dream or something that I am thinking about doing, a project that brings me joy. And I am going to close my eyes and take a moment. We can do that sitting down, by the way. Um, I think it's a, it's a good exercise to do sit down. And Think about something that brings you a lot of joy. Preferably not food, because food will activate other organs. So you can think of an action and you can think of a state of being. And observe your chest while you're doing this exercise. Observe as your chest relaxes and if you also smile, you will observe also how the muscles of your face are relaxing. And your ears, your jaws, your shoulders.
And as you are reaching that stage, you have to be, of course, honest to yourself and genuine. You can use this energy vibration to transport it with your intention to wherever you want to hit. So in my case, I will right now directly forget about the heart and think about my hip. So my attention, my intention is in my hip. And I relax. And the last part of this exercise today, so just to recap what we've done. We've done the active relaxation with the ball, and then we started to bring chi into the body, and we use the five elements in a little slightly different way to bring that pattern of energy into the healing area. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to travel in time back before you had this problem before you had this injury or whatever whatever happened to you and put yourself on a timeline where you didn't have yet this uh, injury and close your eyes and think about it if you know exactly or if you don't know if you let's say you had an accident uh, on the 1st of December think about how did you feel uh, October November how your body reacted, how you were moving, how you were sitting down, how you were sleeping. So try to just identify your state of being before you had this problem. And connect with that memory. And as you are connected to that memory, I want you to switch your attention now directly to the impacted area. And I will explain uh, the purpose and the, the reasoning behind this exercise. Um, we have done a lot of experiments with water at Keytrain, and we're doing more and more these days. Um, I've been studying a lot on, on other people that are doing uh, experiments with water and the water has uh, a lot of memory. We are able to program the molecular structure of the water. Now when we go through an injury, that pain in that area, the destruction of the cells has a direct impact on the molecular structure of the water that sustains the tissue, sustains the DNA. All our body cells, hello Simba, all our body cells are made on that. The, the base structure is that water memory. And the, the water molecular structure can be affected through our emotions and thoughts. So the memory of a, a certain part of our body uh, that was not related to, to, to how it is right now, the pain or the injury or the recovery, will allow the water molecular structure to reshape, to reform on that level, on before the injury. So that is my thinking pattern, the logical thinking pattern behind this, this exercise. Also, um, I realize more and more that the chi and the water are very much connected. The chi is on a higher level of existence. The water is on our level of existence, on a, on a three-dimensional level of existence. So when you work with chi, you affect the water around you and vice versa, because the chi is affecting the water and the water is affecting the chi. That's why one of the, one of the best things that you can do is to recharge your 
water molecular structure by grounding or by immersing yourself into the battery, the biggest battery of, of Earth, which is the sea. So if you can go into the sea and just do nothing but stay in the sea, this is one of the most powerful Qigong exercises that you can do. And um, it's different in the, in the salty water, it's different in the uh, sweet water, because salty water is charged electrically, uh, um, electricity is stronger, the qi is stronger in the sea than it would be in a lake, for example. Um, arguable uh, argument, because, for example, if you go to a river, in the river you have other energies. So in the sea you have the salt that charges the water, there's the sun, there's a lot of sun, yeah, uh, it charges direct contact, sun with the water, but then you have the salt. So both combined, they give a certain energy pattern to the sea. That's why when we go to the sea, we feel completely different. We feel completely recharged or drained, depending on how your chi is. Where you can also feel drained, but on the long term, you will feel better. On the river energy water is different because that the friction with the rocks, with the earth, the fact that the spring comes out of the earth, it's also uh, charged with the earth energy so the river is also is also good i don't really like lakes i think lakes are especially artificial lakes uh, artificial man-made lakes i don't really like the energy um, but you can try if you have one close by and, and see so i don't know exactly what's the time but i think yes i think i will finish for today i wish you an amazing friday and i'll see you on monday uh, stop the recording.